Hello, this is Bill Jordan, your superintendent, and I'm uh, hopeful that you had a, uh, an excellent Thanksgiving and that you're ready for this busy month of December. We've got a lot going on. I want to tell you about um, an activity that I was just involved in with the school board. We were in Spokane, Washington, at the Washington School Directors uh, Conference. And uh, that was the time for the five board members and myself to go to trainings and conference sessions about uh, the law and how to run school districts, how to be better superintendents and board members and how to better take care of our school district. It was a good time for us to, uh, to get together and learn about the work of schools. Um, I also want to um, uh, talk with you just a little bit about Initiative uh, 1351. You'll recall that you voted in November on that initiative. That's the one about class size reduction. Now, class size reduction um, is a great um, concept. It makes uh, good sense. Uh, but I need to tell you that um, it's causing some conflict in Olympia about how specifically to address that issue. The, um, the initiative, 1351, was not funded. There's no funding source for that. And yet, the uh, mandate in that bill is that in kindergarten through third grade, classroom sizes be no greater than 17 students to a teacher. And in fourth grade to 12th grade, that they be no greater than 25 students per teacher. The, um, the, the effect across the state in meeting those numbers would be um, uh, just a huge endeavor. Let me give you an example. In uh, Walla Walla, we have 448 kindergarten students. And with our staff, and we have low numbers now in our kindergarten classes, but to get those down to 17 per uh, classroom, teacher would take four extra teachers at the uh, elementary school level just for kindergarten. So that's a, that's, uh, a nice... Um, uh, endeavor. However, we don't have room to make that happen. We don't have the facilities. Uh, the impact on us in relation to uh, providing portables and, and other classrooms would be tremendous. So you take that number, move it across the other uh, 12 grades, and uh, look at the impact. And it's quite an important impact not just in Walla Walla, but across our whole state. And remember, that's not funded. So that leads us to, just to take a second about the McCleary decision, the Supreme Court decision regarding basic education. There is some talk about the legislature taking initiative 1351 and kind of rolling it into their obligation to provide funding for the paramount duty for basic education. So let's all watch that, pay attention to it, and um, when we have an opportunity, talk to our legislators about it. Also, hey, what's going on in December that uh, you need to know about? I think it's a great time to get into our schools and see what's going on with kids in relation to the, pro the holiday programs that are happening. Many, many things going on. Every school has some activities. Check our website and check the calendar to see when those are and when you... Uh, have an opportunity, please go and uh, take, take a look at our kids and what they're doing. It's a great time uh, also at uh, vacation time. We have two weeks coming up in December where children will be home and they'll be with parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and nieces and it'll be a great time. But it's two weeks when kids can be reading, reading to you or you reading with them or uh, just talking about the work of schooling and uh, have them talk with you a little bit about what they're doing or show you some of the things they're doing in math or something else. But have a good time with them. Enjoy this uh, exciting month. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and I'll be talking with you again soon. Mm -hmm.